Come and check out this fun jumpsuit that I made to attend a black attire themed wedding using McCall's 8009. YouTube. I'm Crystal of CrystalSewsAndStuff.com. Welcome back to the channel where I share sewing pattern reviews, sewing tips and techniques, and other fun related content. I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today. So I'm here with my first make for October 2021 and that is McCall's 8009. So I made this jumpsuit to attend my friend's wedding over the weekend and I had a really good time and the bride and groom asked all the guests to wear black attire and so I hemmed and hauled about what I wanted to wear. It took me a while to decide what to wear because it was an outdoor wedding by the uh, Susquehanna River in Harvard Grace and it was just such a beautiful venue so I was just deciding on what should I wear for an outdoor wedding. Um, that's black. So I finally decided to do a jumpsuit. And so I came up with McCall's 8099. Now this pattern is from 2019, but it's still available on uh, the McCall's website, as well as probably in your Joann's or Hobby Lobby or wherever you buy your um, big four type patterns. I've had it for a while and I've been planning to make it. I never made it. And then I just went through my whole pattern stash and I said, oh, a jumpsuit would be really nice. And I went to um, G Sheet Fabrics a couple of weeks ago and I picked up this black satin for the wedding. And I said, well, I want to do something with this satin. So I decided to go with a jumpsuit. That way I'd be able to dance and still have a kind of an elegant feel to it. So the pattern has three views. It has um, view A is a romper view and it um, so there's shorts on the bottom and it is an overlay over the whole pattern. So it's like you um, you would do a solid and then do a sheer overlay over top if you wanted to do it exactly as printed for view A. View B is um, a jumpsuit with the bottom ties and I did the bottom ties but it has the flared sleeves and then view C is sleeveless with flared with flared bottoms and so I decided to do view pretty much view B with um, the sleeves of view A and so at first I was going to do the um, sleeveless version but then I decided to um, go ahead and add the sleeves after a uh, a comment from one of my subscribers thanks Sandra who said I should do the sleeves and so I decided to go ahead and she said do the ties at the bottom and so I decided to go ahead with that view to combine kind of these two views and I just thought I should add sheer sleeves I think that would be nice and elegant for it and I went to Joann's and they had this really pretty polyester organza and it has a nice a bit of a little sheen to it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it does have a bit of a um, shiny sheen to it. And I just love how it looks when, when you move around it. And so I'm just loving how it turned out with all the, with these um, two views put together. So the, so the pattern calls for stable wovens such as crepe, chalet, and charmeuse. And um, view A uh, calls for sheer, a sheer contrast. And then the bodice is lined with a lining fabric. So it is lined on just the bodice portion only. And so the rest is unlined. And there aren't a lot of pattern pieces. There are only seven pattern pieces. You just have your front bodice piece cut twice. And then you have your back piece cut twice. And then you have your sleeves. And then you have a sleeve band, um, wristband at the bottom, bottom sleeve band. And then you have your front and back legs. And then, and that's it. So it's just not a lot of, pa and then a, a front midriff right here on just the front. So the midriff only comes to the front and then and it peaks. So I like the shape of the midriff here. So it, it just is only in the front, but it does not extend over to the back. And then the back is finished and closed up with an invisible zipper. So there aren't a lot of pattern pieces. So I think this would be good, a good pattern for a more advanced beginner. Um, maybe even more towards intermediate because it does require um, you to work with kind of slippery um, drapier fabrics and then there's also the invisible zipper in the back but other than that and there is a lining <laughs> um, but the directions were very clear they explained to you every every step so I would just take this if you're still a, if you consider yourself a beginner or advanced beginner I would just take it very slowly and go sentence by sentence um, for the direction so that you don't miss any steps 
along the way but the directions are very clear and make sure you go ahead and do a muslin for the pattern so i did a muslin for the bodice portion and it fit and i used the cotton and um that didn't have any stretch to it so i thought it would fit perfectly but it did have a little give and so my measurements i did go ahead and add a half inch to the side seams but when i sewed it up in the main fabric it was still a little tight so i ended up taking out the back darts because there are back darts in the back on the so there are back darts on the back bodice pieces and i ended up taking those out just because i couldn't get it all the way around comfortably and I just go ahead and make sure you muslin the pattern i also shortened the crotch line by an inch and it was a little bit too much i should have only shortened it by a half inch because it was a little high up and so i just had to go back in and narrow the seam allowance from five eighths to about a quarter inch just so i can make sure i had room in the crotch area you know for movement and everything but other than that those are the only changes that i made and um i probably wouldn't i would probably lower the crotch line back down another half inch instead of the whole inch instead of for what i did and other than that i wouldn't um make any other changes and i sewed a size 14 again and i just added like a half inch to the waistline just from you know the waistline down in order for it to fit my measurements and so um i think this is a really good pattern i would like to make it again and i might make it um i might make this uh the shorts version because I, I don't have any like fancy kind of romper so a nice shorts version will be really cute uh, maybe sleeveless um for the summer so a couple of quick notes on the pattern the v in the front comes pretty low it's not super super duper low but it is right at the bra line so you would have to find i have a the bra that i have does um go down pretty low and so that's how i'm able to wear it without um a camisole but if you don't feel if you have a larger um bust size than i do i'm a b cup if you're larger than that you might want to um either bring up the v-neckline if you're not comfortable with this um depth if you're not comfortable with this depth of a neckline so i usually don't wear things this low but i decided to go ahead and go for it with this one but if you're not you could just wear a camisole under it or you can just add some lace or you can just um add a, like a quarter inch or an eighth inch to the v that way it would kind of kind of come and cover up the v just a little bit um so there's that and then if you do want to do sheer sleeves i went on ahead and i did french seams for the sheer sleeve so that i would have a nice clean finish for the sleeve and i also use a size 70 needle because that's a thinner needle to work with such delicate fabrics as the pattern calls for and so i use a 70 schmetz universal needle which is great for lighter weight and satiny type fabrics and i just love how it turned out and i did top stitch the little um armbands on it just for a nice clean finish instead of um slip stitching it as it called for in the directions but other than that i followed the directions pretty carefully and it was very straightforward and easy to sew so here's some fun pics and twirls of me at the wedding wearing mccall's 8009 So that is my review of McCall's 8009. This is a really fun jumpsuit and I really recommend this pattern. It's a chic pattern that I think you would enjoy wearing to a formal event. So this is a really, if you're, if it's not super, super formal. So I really like, I think this is a great pattern to wear some to a fancier engagement and be comfortable because I was able to dance all night. I did try to wear super high heels and I ended up changing them. I, I was going to wear some higher heels, but we had to walk from the car to the venue and I just and I brought my lower heels in the car and I ended up changing them <laughs> before we even got out the car because I was like this is just not gonna work so but um 
this is a really comfy jumpsuit to go ahead and dance in at a wedding. So I highly recommend this to some kind of um, fun themed wedding. All right, or any other fancy kind of event. I think this really um, is a good way for you to incorporate pants into a formal event. All right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning into the review. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you won't miss any future videos. And until next time, take care. Bye. <music>